My name is Bolani Wakemisola. I'm the founder CEO of Nestrade Technology. Um, we have the first wearable technology startup in Nigeria. We design and develop technology one close to the body by embedding programmable electronics and sensors or clothing to solve health related issues, to solve um, insecurity, um, for communication, and to also augment fashion. Um, my background, I have a background in electrical electronics. I study electrical electronics engineering from the university. And after I moved into robotics, so I'm a robotics and embedded system engineer. I am an innovator and I'm an inventor. I just invented a smart bar device that detects LSD breast cancer. Um, the, the smart bar device, the development started 2019 with the research. So 2020, I, I built a team hub to come up with the actual development of bringing the electronics, programming aspects, bringing both hardware and software together to, to build the, the device. So we have started since 2019 and we actualized the bra to the working stage. Uh, and last year, late last year, around September, that was when we finally actualized the working prototype of the smart brand device. I believe that a smart brand device will make a huge difference in the detection of breast cancer, in the fight of breast cancer in Africa generally. Why? The first thing is the early detection. I've said that before. Early detection saves life. When women doesn't detect at early enough because they don't have all this thing available within their reach. You know, they need to travel from one place to another. They need to travel miles before they go access all this technology that they use for the cancer detection. For example, the mammogram. We don't have mammogram machine everywhere. You can only find them in big town. So let's come to the women in the in the, in the local communities. Not even local community, in the average community. Let me say that. So that kind of woman now have to travel miles to you know to access this technology. So with this smart bar device that I've mentioned earlier, they will be able to assess their results, get their results. We don't even need to start traveling, thinking about how you're going to go travel, you no, know, prepare yourself to travel to get the, the, the test done. So with the device right at the comfort of your home, right in your home, you will be able to get your result, check your status, and you know what where you are, you know what to stand for. And after all, if you have any difficulty, I mean, if there's any abnormality detection, then you know how to proceed. The, the mobile application will advise you on what to do okay you need to visit a doctor okay in the air just platform for a doctor if you need one you can get one here so secondly um easy accessibility which i've just mentioned is easy to access then it is cost effective average african woman or average african live below five dollar per day so that tells you how difficult it is. So with the smart brand device they will be able to assess that result without talking amount of money we all know mammogram is expensive, despite the fact that it's not even within your reach. Ultrasound is also expensive. So the smart brand device, we help women to check their status at a very low cost. We are projecting like 20,000 naira. Even at that, we are still going to partner you know, with government for the de deployment of the smart brand. I've mentioned it that the smart brand device uses a mobile application, fine. And not every woman uses a mobile application on this Android or iOS phone. For, for such category of um, women, I make a provision of coming up with a, a web application which will be deployed to health centers. I think health centers are the one closer to the people. It will be deployed to health centers with minimum of 50 smart bra will be there where women can now come maybe once in a month to check their status. This is also been within their reach compared to the existing technologies. I believe the smart brand device we actually help in the prevention of breast cancer in uh, in Africa. We need to do more on breast cancer awareness. So our people would not think when they feel any symptoms and they see any abnormality, so they won't think, oh, this is spiritual attack. We need to sensitize people. This is for every one of us. We need to work together and see how we can create awareness for breast cancer. So they will not be taking it for a spiritual attack anymore. Um, in 2020, in Nigeria alone, over 28,000 breast cancer um, cases um, was recorded and 80% of that figure left to death. And I can tell you that they are more than that, assuming all women that have the symptoms come to the hospital. It's beyond that. So we need to do more on that awareness creation. That is the first thing to tackle um, breast cancer, creating awareness, which have to do with every one of us. Not no, It's not something we can leave for the government alone. It's not something we can leave for some organization. No, we have some NGO that does this. And with the help of our, uh, of our smart brain device, I can tell you that is our mission. I mean, that is our vision to prevent the spread, to prevent the number of women dying of breast cancer by 80% by the year 2030 in Africa and in the globe generally.